Oh, what's going on, everybody? Here and welcome to a uh, quick tips, tricks video. Anyways, chances are you're playing Starfield, and if you're playing Starfield, you want to make money because when you want to make money, you want to build things, you want to build bigger ships, you want to do all of the things, buy all the cool gear. And I'm going to talk about early game, maybe early to mid game money, and uh, how to do it and how not to do it because i made some mistakes when i first started but that's okay because i learned so now you can learn anyways if you guys enjoy make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already so the number one way for me and i honestly i just think it's a great way to make money period is looting just taking everything you find from everybody so weapons seem to be like the the best thing everybody every enemy you fight typically drops their weapon ammos all kinds of random things loot everything you find there are some things that you don't necessarily want to pick up. You don't want to pick up the cups and the knives and the decorative things. Uh, you want to pick up anything that's like, you want to pick up stuff that's actually worth something. So sometimes you accidentally pick up stuff like uh, that's like not worth anything. Well, okay, these are all keys, which that's not a good example. Uh, Digi picks are worth something. Um, wire spools, wire spools are actually for, uh, for, well, no, wire spools are really just not worth anything, but you're gonna come across a lot of like garbage stuff. So basically, if you just stick to looting the bodies, looting the bodies, uh, looting the cred sticks that you see laying all over the place, and uh, you'll be good. So what you can do with that is one, you can place everything into into the inventory of your ship. And I'm gonna actually talk about that a little bit because it kind of is confusing at the very beginning on what to do and how to like how to transfer stuff over so in order to access the inventory on your ship you can either one click right here which is this is typically how i go to um i go in here hit r for transfer and the first thing that's going to pop up is the frontier it's going to say frontier right here that's going to be the frontiers inventory you're also going to see the mass of the frontier right now mine is at 1260 because i have um i upgraded the storage but what you want to do if you want to switch from your inventory to like put stuff in the frontier you need to hit Q or whatever button it is for you. And then that's going to switch to your inventory. You're going to see down here, 190 or 160, whatever yours is. And then you're going to be able to go through, click on whatever you want to, to swap to your ship's inventory and vice versa. So if you want to go um, switch to the frontier and take stuff out and put it into your pockets, you can do that as well. So those are like, that's your inventory options right there. Um, now, like I said, there's a mistake that you don't want to make. Do not make this mistake because I made this mistake and it can cost you a lot of money if you don't realize it. Vendors only have so much credits. This is very similar to how Fallout 4 was. Um, and I completely negated to remember this. Um, but you can come over here into the Trade Authority kiosk. And you can see that this vendor currently has zero credits. That's because I already sold everything to this vendor. This vendor typically has 5,000 credits. Um, same with almost every other vendor. However, this is not the only place you can sell from your ship inventory. And I want to talk to you about that because I didn't know this in the very beginning and it would have helped me out a lot. But you can go anywhere that you can buy, you can sell for the most part. I haven't checked, I haven't checked every single place, but I believe you can buy and sell for pretty much everywhere. Um, I don't know. Let's actually go into here, the UC security office. Let's see if we can buy or sell anything from here. I don't know that we can. I'm pretty sure this guy's just gonna try to recruit me. Well, hello. Uh, yeah, no, <laughs> he's just gonna try to recruit me. Now in this area that I'm like immediately in, there is a Terra brew right here, but I also believe, <laughs> this may be a mistake, but I don't think you could sell uh, to a lot of stuff to the brew either. You want to go to the other places. You want to go to the shops that actually like sell weapons and items and resources and things like that. But let's see if Terra Brew. Um, I'd like to place an order. Please take your. Okay, so we can go to sell, but we can't sell everything. We only sell eight items here. Okay, so that's unfortunate. And she only had fifteen hundred credits, anyways. And honestly, I don't really typically sell eight items for the most part. I will go over what eight items you don't really need and what items you do want. But um, let's go ahead and let's just get something sold here. So we're going to head to a different district. We're going to head to, um, we'll head to the commercial district. Now, this is just for a new Atlantis. Uh, you can do this on Nova. You can do this on Aquila. You can do this wherever, basically. Basically, anywhere that buys stuff, you can, um, you can, you can sell to them. And there's actually a little bit of a tip that I have here that I'm going to show you right now for, um, for getting things that you need, but also being able to get money. So I know this place typically has, um, this place I usually buy stuff from. I usually end up buying resources. So I'd like to see what you have for sale. Vendor credits, zero. Now, they have resources here. And these are resources that we utilize for uh, for base building and all kinds of stuff. Now, aluminum, I don't need aluminum because I actually have a, um, a thing for aluminum. But let's say I need, let's say I need copper. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buy all that copper and... That's, I don't know. Let's just say that that's all I needed. Okay. 
So now they have 230 credits. So now what I can do is I can actually go into sell and you can see it says vendor sell. So we're going to be selling from our inventory. This is my inventory currently, but you can see, you can also hit Q again to sell from ship inventory. That is where the niceties come in because you don't have to carry all the stuff with you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and sell this. And let's go ahead and sell. Let's see, we have 52 credits left. Oh my goodness. We'll sell a rescue axe. I know we're not going to get the full money for it, but that's fine. Uh, so we'll go ahead and confirm that. Now, another thing when it comes to selling and buying, it says on when you're looking in your inventory, right, right. the things that you have in your inventory. So if I go to, uh, if I go to new items or if I go to, uh, see if I go to a weapon. Okay. This Astra Tamer, right? This thing says it's worth 15,561. However, Come back if, you need something. if I go into here and I go to sell it, I'm not actually going to sell it, but I'm going to go sell weapons, Astro Tamer. It's only worth 1945 now. So it was 16,000. Now it's only 1945. So <laughs> just be warned, you're not going to get the actual value that it says when you're just in your inventory. You're going to get the value that it says right here while you're at the place so if you're like wait this was a sixteen thousand dollar gun and i didn't you it's not gonna happen and keep an eye on the credits so this place is pretty much wiped out because i've already sold everything here let's go ahead let's head to uh, let's head to neon and i'll go ahead and show you some things there and we'll go ahead and make some cash because my uh, my ship inventory is getting pretty full <laughs> now if you don't know where neon is uh you're gonna be looking for the voli system so we're gonna be looking for voli and then we're going to be looking for, um, is it Voli Alpha? And then we're going to be looking for Neon. And then we're going to go ahead and land there. So you can fast travel directly there. It's super easy, super nice. All right, so look at that. Boom, we're already here. Ha ha. Now, this is where, uh, this is where the fun begins because we're going to go to Seacart's Outfitters here. And we're going to go ahead and uh, offload some stuff. Now, you can sleep. And if you sleep for 24 hours, I believe it will actually reset the vendors. So we're going to go ahead and talk to this guy. Let me see what you have for sale. He should have 5,000 credits. Uh, 5,969. Fantastic. So we're going to go to sell. I want to sell for my ship inventory because I keep all the good stuff on me. Uh, and then for the most part, I'm going to go ahead and sell all of these. Anything that I have a lot of. Uh, now, this part comes to your discretion. Whatever you want to sell, you can. Um, I know which guns I like and I know which ones I don't like. Like all of these modified, uh, calibrated, I don't need any of these. But now what you're doing is you also want to make sure while you're doing this that you're not running out of credits. So it'll come up with a message saying you're going to get less than the time's worth. That's fine. This one is close enough. I don't really care. But now that that guy's wiped out. But now what I could do is I could say I want to buy from him and I want to buy. Um, let's see. What do you have? Weapons. Do you have ammo? Does he not have ammo? What do you have for miscellaneous digi picks? We'll go ahead and buy those. Uh, what resources? Adaptive frames, all this stuff. I don't really need. Actually, you know what? Do we have ship parts? Zero G. Okay, we don't have any ship parts. That's unfortunate. I'd like to buy some ship parts if I could. Uh, does he not have any ammo? I can't believe he doesn't have any ammo. So yeah, I don't really need anything else from this guy. So I'm not actually gonna, we're not gonna mess around with him anymore. Okay, so we're gonna run down here. We're actually gonna go to, uh, and we're gonna go in here and we're gonna talk to this guy. So this guy sells um, guns and weapons. Now, be careful here. So you can buy guns and weapons, but you can only also sell guns and weapons. So uh, just be warned this, what you wanna do here is what you, be, just be careful. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna sell from, from ship inventory first uh, because he has 13.5 right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably get rid of basically everything in here because everything in here is relatively low level i might keep some of the legendary stuff and like um the epic stuff just like to have it but like the rares and stuff i'm not really even that worried about it because i have basically everything i want in my inventory all right so he has 2454 left okay we'll go ahead and sell out some of these the peacekeeper is actually really cool but we're gonna go ahead because that uses the 11 we'll go ahead and get rid of that too uh oh he actually you know what back so now what I want to do, okay, so if I get, um, this one is 2368. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go into buy ammo and I want 11 mil and I'm going to buy around 2300s worth. So I'll go ahead and buy, I'll buy a hair more. We'll buy 2400, uh, confirm. And the reason I did that is because now I can go to, uh, sell for my ship inventory and go back and sell this for that credit and essentially trade it for ammo if that makes any sense now 
if this guy could buy anything else i would absolutely trade and sell some more stuff but like i said he could only buy and sell weapons so don't go too crazy with this guy because that's all you can sell now uh let's go ahead and let's head somewhere else and see if we can't offload some other stuff because we have like a, we have some other weird goods uh new Will's goods this is the perfect place so let's go ahead and let's see what he has so he has he only has 5900 credits uh but we can go ahead sell from ship inventory spacesuits i have a bunch of spacesuits that i don't need anymore now spacesuits really wipe out the credits like they do oh, ho oh, they're gone so like now he's broke again but i'm gonna go back into the buy because like i said there's actually things that i um i need like 11 mil casings um i definitely want some of these and i'm pretty sure i can make up 7700 back again so i'm gonna go ahead and confirm i'm gonna buy those and then again sell from ship inventory and then we also have a bunch of helmets that we don't need let's see what else do we have so we have some resources we have some aid okay let's also go over the aid too because there are some things that are useful and there's are there's some things that are not that i think this is also my opinion but the only aids that i keep are things that are going to be a lot of them have this like multiplier stuff right here so, so 35 percent movement speed for two minutes two times jump height for two minutes um that's all cool fine and dandy but what i want is this i want treatments and then i also want um healing just straight up healing stuff so we are looking for like these these neurodynes so re, uh, resource three percent for 10 seconds this is your main source of healing because look at the mass it's zero zero so that it, the game knows you're gonna have a lot in there uh the med pack and then there's also a um a trauma pack i do believe as well i think it's called a trauma pack it's the same looking thing but i try to keep only things that i'm gonna need so like these things i just i don't need those i don't really care i do want to keep the ailments though so anything that has like a treatment for this keep those because those are going to be worth you're going to want them at some point for something like all these like random things like restores two health plus 14 percent o2 recovery for 13 minutes like that's cool and all but it's like not super useful you know to me it's not now this is something that i might actually keep because it restores 20 health and plus 100 damage resistance for 10 minutes that's not bad that's not bad um damage resistance is it's not bad so i will probably go ahead and keep that um but everything else like eight percent persuasion chance i'm not really that was a juice box of wine that's funny um this heart plus is actually pretty good if you're going into like a boss fight or something plus 20 percent health for two minutes and plus 200 damage resistance for two minutes that would be good if you're finding like a boss guy that you maybe you can't take out um and then this persuasion chance 20 percent persuasion chance for five minutes maybe you're gonna get to a point in a dialogue where you might need that um but for the most part like i said that's up to you so i'll probably keep that one um, but the, yeah, these are, most of these are actually, so like four health, that's nothing. <laughs> that's like absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of everything. Um, ship parts. Don't ever get rid of ship parts. <laughs> Don't ever get rid of the ship parts. <laughs> you need those like very badly. All right. So there's everything there. That looks pretty good. Now let's pop out of here. What else do we have? Um, so we have some more resources here. Resources. Honestly, I would just keep a hold of them for now. I wouldn't mess with the resources too much because when you start doing research, you're going to need kind of like some weird stuff like that. Um, and then also this stuff like blender base, blender jar, bowl, bowl, chisel, cube. Like, do we do we need any of this? No, we I, Well, digipix, you <laughs> keep your digipix. Uh, we don't need those. But everything else, like here's a, a, a left slipper. This is the kind of stuff you don't want to pick up that I must have accidentally picked up at some point. And I just don't need it because it has mass. There's no reason to have like any of this stuff. Okay, so we're going to go back to the buy now, and I just want to make sure that this guy doesn't have any ship parts, because ship parts, like I said, are always super... <gasps> He's got four ship parts. We're going to buy all of those. Ship parts are always handy. You want to make sure you have ship parts on you. Uh, the med packs, depends on how many you want. I typically like to have way more than I need. And then also, if there's any trauma ones, it doesn't look like there is. Uh, there's there's that. Okay, so that is like basically how I, how, how I make money. And that's basically how you're going to be making money. You just go and take absolutely everything. Um, I currently have now, after selling a whole bunch of stuff, I have 118,000. 355,000 credits. Now, I've already spent, so like I'm level 17. I've already spent like 50K in credits on uh, some ship stuff. So playing the missions and also just buy, just picking up and selling stuff. Also, if you're going to be picking up a lot of stuff, the skill that you might want to be looking into is actually weightlifting this will increase um so rank one increases it by increase your carry capacity by 10 kilograms then 25 and then 50 and right now i'm working on rank four uh which is going to increase it by 100 and i gain 50 percent resistance to stagger so um, i'm actually almost there each one of these has a challenge that you have to do to progress it to the next one so rank three i have to um 
sprint 5,000 meters while at 75% more of my capacity. So I need to go ahead and load up on my capacity and then just run around in circles for a little bit. Uh, and then I can go ahead and get rank four and then increase it by another 50 kilograms, which would be super nice. Um, but yeah, there you go. There's some basic how to make money. Just just buy and sell. Uh, play it smart. Make sure you're looking at what the vendors can actually purchase from you. Make sure you're looking at what the um, how many credits they actually have. Because like I said, when I initially started, I didn't even notice the credits and I just dropped everything out on somebody and they didn't pay me for anything. So yeah, it was it was terrible. It was awful. Um, and then also, again, making sure to see what people want, because like this guy, he will only buy guns and ammo. So if you go through and sell everything to him, and he has like 100,000 credits, but then you don't have anything else to like to sell back to him or you go buy 100,000 credits worth of stuff and you don't have anything to sell back to him. Well, you're kind of out of luck. So, uh, yeah, there's that. But thanks again. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Hopefully this helped. If it did help, please leave a comment down below. Or if there's anything that you think that I missed, leave a comment down below as well. Uh, I do appreciate it. Again, this is like the beginner, beginner to like, you know, mid game money making. There might be some things in the future with um you know with with mining and with you know manufacturing stuff like that but i haven't got to that point yet so i just want to kind of help out if i can and uh yeah thanks again for coming out have a wonderful day i'll see you in the next one bye everybody